hello you guys welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome 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 so in today's video we're going to be discussing something a little bit more serious and definitely different which would be frenemies and why they are so dangerous a lot of times we see frenemies on tv being glamorized people throwing shade back and forth but there is something so dangerous about having a person that close to you who wants to see your downfall so let's get into that also i have a cold so if i sound a little bit off that's what it is i don't really sound like myself because i have a cold but i had to get this video out because of the things that i am seeing on social media with people glamorizing and often being friends with people that they know they don't like is extremely scary to me um so Frenemies to me is not something that you should boast about and having a frenemy is one of the most dangerous people to have in your life. These people more often times than not, well I mean often times, don't really like you but want to remain close to you so that they know the moment you fail. And TV shows glamorize this type of behavior as though this is some type of goal and it honestly boggles my mind because who would want a person in their life who is more often than not an enemy? With an enemy, you at least know what you're going to get. You guys don't like each other, you stay away from each other, and that's it. But when you have someone that is sitting in your face and in your circumference and pretending to be your friend, and you don't even know that that person doesn't like you, that is extremely, extremely dangerous. As we've seen in the news with so many things that have happened with girls being which is why it is so important to vet your friends. You have to vet your friends the same way you would vet a potential partner. Watch how the person moves and maneuvers with other people. Not everyone has the same heart and intentions as you do. And I know a lot of times people want to see the best in people, but it's better to be safe than sorry, in my opinion. I'd rather be paranoid than caught off guard. If you constantly watch that person gossip to you about others and or they talk horrible about their past friendships keep an eye out for that person because i am a firm believer of if you can talk about a person who was once a close friend to you then you can do the same to me what makes me so different that you wouldn't do the same to me and yes there's nothing wrong with venting i mean people vent but i don't like when people who used to be friends with people start bringing up all of their secrets and things that they know about their family or things that they know about childhood past the childhood trauma i don't like that i find that sort of behavior disgusting trashy nasty low and if you would do that to a person that you were once friends with it just shows me your character as a person for you to stoop so low and share dark secrets that they shared with you because they trusted you lets me know the type of person and the type of human that you are. You're telling me something about a person that I don't even know. You're sharing their deepest, darkest secrets because you're no longer speaking or you're mad at that person. That shows me who you are, your character, and your morals. Now, when it comes to your mental health and safety, you have to be selfish. You have to put you first. Some of these friends are staying close to you so that they gather information and then attack. I don't agree with the keep the enemy close thing. I don't, I never understood that. Why would you want someone around you who has bad intentions, who wants to see you fail and drains your energy? And no, I don't believe in the whole, I'm keeping them around so I can stunt on them. I don't want that type of energy in my life. I don't need that bad energy near me or around me. And yes, you can get into an argument or a disagreement with a friend. That happens. I mean, who hasn't gotten into a disagreement with their friend? But a wicked person who is always throwing darts and saying the most obscene things for the smallest disagreement is not your friend. That person doesn't like you at all, not even a little bit. And the sooner you understand that, the better off you will be, I promise you. Because if we get into a small disagreement and the first thing that you say is like, a secret that I told you that no one else knew and you just threw it out there in the middle of an argument and then you don't even apologize for it and I don't even believe in people with the whole apology thing sometimes because I think people apologize in order to save themselves but you don't apologize for it and not only do you not apologize for it you may apologize for it and then say oh girl but I was just mad and a lot of times people use the I was just mad as an excuse for their behavior when in all reality if they said it, they meant it. A lot of people say they're sorry, but they don't mean it, which is another reason why I say don't share secrets. 
And if you do share something, make sure it's something that you don't mind getting out and that it's something minor. Because I just don't believe in telling people secrets or telling people things that you're scared may get out at some point if it does get out. And I'm just extremely private and I think that's how a lot of people should be because you have some people out here that just have the most cruel intentions. What has always also been a major red flag to me is that how a person acts when others are around. Specifically when they know you like someone or someone likes you. They'll try to embarrass you and make comments like, oh girl, you think you look cute today? You look all right. Certain little comments like that to discourage the person from getting with you or starting a relationship. These are things that you should not tolerate. And I'm telling you now, it doesn't get better and you can have as many conversations with them as you want. That behavior never changes. And let me tell you something, God gave us discernment for a reason. And sometimes people ignore this discernment because they're scared of cutting someone off simply because of years of a friendship or some sort of trauma bonding. But it is better in the long run that you protect yourself from this type of person. Another thing I hate is how having these banters back and forth with your friends is celebrated. But the dark side is not something that you see. These friends have so many ill wills towards you and want to see you down and will stop at nothing to make sure they take you down. Especially if you're successful. And sometimes the person can have it all, but not what God blessed you with. And sometimes they see it before you do. Which is why they always throw shots and jabs because they don't want you to discover how great you are. There are so many women who have been harmed by their own friends. And I say friends in quotations because these are not your friends. There are so many women who have been harmed by their own friends who have set them up to have all sorts of things done to them robbery oft you name it and these people have no issue doing it and all because of jealousy and envy which to me is one of the worst traits a human can have because envy will make you do some crazy strange things another thing i want to leave off with before i close out this video is if you're someone who drinks never ever leave your drink unattended at all under no circumstances unless it's your siblings parents or very very close family members not the family members you see every three years i also want you guys to know that every smiling face and laughing face is not your friend just because someone shows teeth and smiles at you does not mean that they're your friend some people have pure hearts and they think that everyone is there to be their friends and oh my goodness she smiled with me she laughed with me or he smiled at me he laughed with me and they believe that this person is genuine when in all actuality they're just trying to gain your trust but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it as well as staying safe and taking heed and taking the advice that i'm giving you guys so that you're cautious when entering friendships or even with your present friendships watch out for red flags and if you notice any of the red flags cut these people off immediately and that's all i will catch you guys in the next video and happy new year <laughs>